We're a group of volunteers um, and people want to improve their skills and they also want to offer their skills back to the community. So the way they improve their skills is through various training. We can help provide some funding for that kind of training and then some skill practice in different locales. The Wet n Wild Scuba Society does more than just training as they help with an annual beach cleanup at Gregoire Lake. We want to make sure children have feet that aren't going to get cut by sharp items. So we do a cleanup every year of the surface of the beach and also the underwater area. So, so far we've retrieved a lot of cigarette butts. They're not decomposable people, <laughs> but also glass and uh, tin cans, things that can really harm people's feet. To aid in the cleanup, divers must suit up in their wetsuit, which has to be tight against their body. Otherwise, it will let in too much water and they'll freeze. The Wet n Wild Scuba Society also employs the buddy-buddy system for safety. Now, divers have to keep an eye on air pressure and orientation, but the adventure can lead to some great discoveries. Oh, well, so today somebody found a paddle. <laughs> sometimes a blanket or sometimes things that have fallen off boats. There are some fish here, and uh, in Cold Lake there's an underwater orienteering system, so you can practice your orienteering skills with compass. Uh, and there's some items set up underneath the water, so the fish like to hang out there. There's some ling cod or... Uh, sometimes you'll see leeches. Or <laughs> so there's little, little animals here mostly. Yeah. This society also provides great access for the youth. Another thing that we offer is uh, financing to help youth develop their skills so they can have discover scubas, which are about an hour and a half in the pool to see if they like scuba diving, and then we can help fund their, all their courses that they want to take. For Go Wood Buffalo, I'm Doug Roxburgh.